So today I am going to show you the next step of the CO2 Dragster project and we're going to make the first of three custom wheels. So before we even do that, since last time we created our basic wheel, depending on which period you are, right? I have them right here. Um, but we need to, you know, we're going to leave this file the way it is so you don't have to click on that. We're going to actually make a duplicate of the file so we can work on that one and we don't even need to mess up our basic wheel just in case if we need it again for some reason, uh, we could always go back to that file. So to make a duplicate of a file, you're going to click this little gear and all you're going to do is click duplicate and it will bring up another screen like so of your duplicated design all right so like this right here all right so i have my design i have the basic wheels and from this one basic wheel we are going to make like i said three different custom wheels for you to experiment with and you can redesign to make into your own unique wheels all right so i'm just going to show you some techniques and different things that you could do with your wheels but i'm not saying that these have to be your wheels right these are just different ways um, for you to, you know, play around with the wheel, right? Different things that you could experiment with. It doesn't have to exactly be like mine, right? So you can make yours into your own custom wheels. So what we're first going to do is we're going to make a wheel with spokes. All right, so you'll see what I mean once we get going. But before we do that, right, before we start designing on our wheel here we want to make copies of this right just in case you know we mess up or because we're going to be making two other different custom designs um, but i'm going to have us have four wheels out here just in case so again to make a copy of a of a shape you're going to just click on it and click Control c Control v and you're going to make couple of them right you can make as many as you want and I'll just separate them like that so they're like kind of lined up in the back all right but you can put them anywhere on your work plane so now we're ready to go I'm going to be working on this wheel right here so what we need to do first is we want to take out the middle part of this wheel to put the spokes in which are like long rods Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to find the tube shape, which is also orange, right, right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to make it a hole, right? Because like I said, we need to take out the middle part of this wheel. Okay, so we need to make this a hole so it goes through it. All right, so I'm going to do that by clicking on the hole icon right here. Now we have to change this dimension here. So each diameter is going to be 38 by 38. Some people's wheels might look different than others. So with that being said, you need to check, right? Some of us made our wheels smaller. Some of us made our wheels bigger. So this tube might look weird in your design. Okay, so like for mine, it fits pretty well. Okay, but I might want to, you know, make the diameters... A little smaller all right so I don't know maybe I'll do 36 instead and we'll see how that looks it's okay if you want to try out different sizes all right so can't really see it right now but if we lift this up so we can see we're gonna make it taller in a second but there we go all right so I like that better so it'll take out that part of the wheel all right so now we have to change the wall thickness so it can go inside of that orange part so we're gonna make that five okay so to do that either you could slide this over like we did with our basic wheel when we wanted to make it you know smooth it out or you can actually click in this instance the number and change it yourself so i'm just going to change it to five and like you could see now right it went in towards and made it like a thicker or wider donut 
So like I'll show you again. Alright, so what was it? Two? Alright, so it's a little bit thinner. But I'm saying start with five. You could always do more. You could do less. Um, you want to try and get as close to five, I think, as possible. Just so it takes out more space so you can see the spokes. And you'll see what I mean in a second. Now, the only other thing that I want us to do is... Let me just put this down for a second. So if you lifted it, make sure you put it back down on the plane. But we have to make this higher up. So we make sure that it totally goes through um, our wheel right here so again to change the height right now it's 10 but we can make this as tall as we want okay just so we make sure that it goes all the way through and then you could put it on your wheel to make sure but now just again for some extra precaution to make sure it goes through because sometimes tinkercad is weird all right we're going to take that little cone on top and we're going to push it through. So then you could see, right, if I orbit here, that the tube is, in fact, going through. So we know we are in the clear. All right, so now, if you like the way you that it looks, right, you could always go back and adjust the wall thickness. See, you don't want it to totally enclose it. Um, but, I don't know, let's just say maybe, maybe you want six. Okay, you could change it however you see fit. So I'll leave it as 6, why not? Now what you have to do is align this, because if we look at this from the top view, it's not, I mean, it's pretty, pretty dang close, but we want this to make sure that it's centered, right? Because this middle part, this plastic piece is centered, so we also want to make sure that this tube's centered, right? So everything's equal and symmetrical. So to do that, we are going to make that dotted red box that you saw last time. Okay, so you're going to click and hold. And then you're going to move your mouse or on your finger on your trackpad and you're going to make that little box there. Then you're going to let go when everything's highlighted and we are going to click the align tool. And a bunch of these little dots come up like usual, right? Like we saw last time. And again, the same thing. We want those middle dots selected on the X and the Y axis. And then it moves them to the center. All right. Once you do that, okay, and you know if you did it right, if both of these circles are gray, right, on the x-axis and the y-axis, we're going to group this, right, to actually cut this hole through. So I'm going to click group, which is right up here. It's going to turn red, and then it's going to group. So let's look at this from the top. All right, so it looks kind of cool, right? Our wheel... There's nothing holding it together right now, right? So that's what the spokes are going to be for. All right, so organizing the spokes inside the wheel, honestly, is probably the hardest part, okay? And this is probably the hardest wheel to make. So if we could do this, right, we could do anything. So to make these spokes, we're going to need to take out a box. So just that red box right at the top next to the cylinder you can put it anywhere when we have this box out what i want you to do is kind of drag it to your wheel or you can even drag it inside that actually might be even more helpful and once you drag it in there okay you'll see the little black dots on the left and the right now what i want you to do is move them to the sides of your wheel kind of so like on mine so let me go to the front here so it's hitting each side of the orange because we want it to go across so you want it to hit the orange then up here right we want to make this thinner okay if we're gonna make a spoke we gotta make it thin all right so more or less i mean you could make it as thick or as thin as you want Right, you can go really, really small like that for your for your spokes, or you could leave it a little bit thicker. It's up to you. I'm gonna go on more of the thin side just because I like uh, the look of it. But that's up to you. But now you could see, right? It's still not hitting the side. So I'm gonna zoom in, and I'm gonna extend this a little bit further. So now you can see it's definitely hitting. And then, it's okay if it's like going in a little bit on the one side. 
as you'll see in a second you're not even going to notice that so now we have to adjust the height so all you have to do is click on that top white box like you saw me just did and so this one right here and bring it down so you want it you could have it flush as possible it's not going to be exact unless you remember how um, tall you made your wheel and I I don't remember right how tall I made mine okay so I'm just going to do it by eye so you could have it as close to that top ledge so like right here as possible okay so mine looks pretty close all right looks good now what we have to keep in mind is when we're doing this is we have to check the bottom right because we've been making this this whole time but if we look the red is going through the bottom so what I'm gonna do is from the bottom I'm just gonna push that up so it looks a little bit cleaner all right so how I did that was that middle white dot held it and just put it up once and there you go so this is the hardest part of making this wheel, just getting these spokes um, looking good, right? They have because everyone's wheels are different, right? So they're going to all be different, which is totally okay. So now we have one. You could even drag it out if you want to for this step. So you can click on it and copy it and paste it a couple of times, so we can create more, right? So you can copy and paste as many as you want. And then what we're going to do is we're going to drag this in, right? And you might want to look at this from the top view so you could see if it's centered or not. So once I drag that one in, if you remember to rotate an object, right, you're going to click on the double arrows and we're just going to drag it to 90 degrees. And I'm going to drag it right here. It doesn't have to try and get it as centered as possible. And then for these two, I'm going to put them on an angle, kind of like a, a big X in the middle of this. I'm going to rotate this to 45 degrees. And put it there and do the same thing with this one. 45 degrees. And I'm going to move it right there check the bottom which it should be fine right because we already fixed that the first time and it looks pretty good you could always like I see this middle spoke of mine probably needs to be moved over slightly like that um, use the arrows on your keyboard that is going to be extremely helpful especially for this right so like if I slightly want to move it up it works very, very well. Alright, so, of course, mine isn't 100% equal, right? All of the distances between each other, but try and get yours as equal as possible. But it looks pretty good, right, for me not really taking the time out to make sure that these are spaced evenly. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're just going to rotate around an orbit just to make sure nothing's sticking out. It shouldn't be, right, because we checked that when we first did it, but, you know, you always just want to make sure, including the bottom. And once you're done, this is the time where you should make sure this is the color that you want for your car, right? Or we could just change the colors for fun, right, because this is just basically a practice, um, to get you used to, you know, cutting things out of your wheel, to adding things to your wheel. So I'm just going to pick pick any random color for right now. Or if you think you might want to use spokes for your wheel, of course, you can, you know, use this if you want to. But I would prefer you change it up a little bit when I ask you to make your own custom wheels. So I'm just going to go crazy here and do like every single color. Or to spice it up a little bit, right? So I'm gonna actually change that one. We'll make it orange. All right, and there we go. So now, after you finish doing your colors, right, getting it the way you want to, 
Now we have to group this all together. So if I go to move this, right, to put on my car, it's not all going to go all over the place, right? Because nothing's glued together. So we have to make that glue. And in order to make that glue, we are going to group this together. So you're going to take that dotted red box again, wrap it around your wheel, let go so everything's highlighted, and you're just going to click group. And after you click group, it's going to turn red. Then, as you see, it turned it all black, right? Which is kind of concerning, okay? You're probably like, whoa, Miss Dolch, where did the colors go, right? Like, I had, like, every single different color you could think of on my wheel. Why did it turn all black? Well, first, it turns it all black because most of the design was black. So whatever part of the design is most a singular color, it's going to just click to that color. Um, but we could change it back easily. So all you have to do is click on the solid black color and click multicolor. And there you go. It's back to normal. So no worries. But you want to change your colors before you group it. Because when once you group it, the whole entire thing will just be that one color. You can't individually color your spokes, which is kind of annoying. You just have to ungroup again and color it. But we like the easy way, right? So we always just want to make sure that we color it first before we group. All right, and then we move it around. Everything stays put. I could turn this and we could see that that, when we put it on our Draxer, that is what we're going to see on the outside of our cars. All right, so that is the spoke wheel. All right, it looks like that. All right, next, what we're going to be doing is a subtractive wheel. So that will be the next demo or tutorial video that will be 